Is that a drink? It's Valentine's Day. Woo! Ah, let's get it on. I think that the most stereotypical cliche romantic food of love is a beautiful, delectable chocolate covered strawberry. Oh, wow. Come get some, baby. So today for you and you alone, I'm making chocolate covered strawberry cocktail. What you want to do is you're gonna puree, blend, juice strawberries, and then measure one ounce pours of that strawberry puree or juice or whatever you wanna call it into a ice cube mold. So you've got one ounce jiggers of strawberry juice right there. I just threw strawberries in my Acme Juicematic 5000 from 1972. Uh, worked great, but if you have a more modern juicer, uh, you could use that again. Did that balloon quit its job on me for the fourth time? God damn it. Take one ounce of strawberry puree from your ice cube tray, put that into your small tin. You're gonna need a little creme de cacao. I like Marie Brizard's. I prefer a white creme de cacao to a uh, dark one because we don't want to affect the color of this drink. We want it to be bright, red, passionate, filled with the fire of the loins, the loin fire. They got one thing in common. They got the fire down below. That's a song. It's a song by um, that guy and it's about herpes. We're gonna put in a half an ounce of, um, what is this called, cognac. We're gonna put in a half an ounce of cognac. So um, this whole frozen one ounce pour of strawberry juice or fruit juice in general. That's a Dave Arnold technique. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna shake this all the way to completion. And what I mean by that is you're gonna shake it for about a minute and then you're gonna wind up very disappointed and finish it yourself. What I mean by that is you're gonna shake it until there's no ice left. The ladies in the room like that joke. Missy Elliott is here too. I don't hear any more ice in there, so I think that's probably done shaking. Let's get freaky. I'm freaky. We're gonna put this into this glass. Now you'll notice that I am not straining this, and that's because every drop in here, I want my glass. It's nothing but puree of strawberries, creme de cacao, and cognac. So there's nothing to strain. And so now we're gonna top that up with champagne, or champagne as the Continental might say. Wow, 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 wow. And you gotta be gentle, okay? You have to be very, very gentle. You have to use a subtle touch because this particular drink is so sensual that when you pour it, it's gonna wanna, <clears throat> it's gonna wanna erupt and boil right on over. And so you gotta let it do its thing. And it's because there's a lot of nucleation points in there that wanna suck all the gases directly out of this magnum of champagne. If it was a real magnum, that'd be a great joke, but this is just a regular 750. Magnums are also a dick size. And let's garnish that with a whole strawberry because why not? Pick up the drink, put your mouth at its nape. Oh my God, that's delicious. That is a strawberry chocolate champagne exquisite experience. It is really delicious. It is, it is accessible. This is not a spirit forward or even a champagne forward drink. This is a strawberry forward drink with chocolate notes, a strong strawberry nose, as one might expect. It's delicious, it's fantastic. It really does taste like champagne and chocolate strawberries. I, I have nothing else to add about that. Uh, something you can do on Valentine's Day that maybe you want to know how to do and that I've never talked about on the show because I think it's a little bit silly, but what the heck, why not? Let's celebrate, is you could saber a bottle of champagne. Um, and of course I opened this episode with me sabering this bottle. So the first step in sabering champagne is to remove the foil and the price tag. This one says 10.99. It's a little rich for my blood. The second step in champagne is to remove the cage, otherwise known as the safety. And be careful, because now this weapon is armed and dangerous. And don't ever point it at anything you don't intend to destroy. And now just by looking at it, okay, yes. There's a seam here along the edge of the, the bottle. Holding this at a 45 degree angle pretty firmly, 
I'm gonna take uh, a heavy object or a knife uh, with the dull side. Do not use the sharp side, you'll ruin your blade. Put it on the neck. And when I do this, when I thrust forward, there will be no arc, okay? You don't wanna curve this or curl it, you just wanna really punch straight through as if you're punching it. Boom, baby. And your uh, cork and top will come off clean. Uh, all of any fractures of glass will go far away. You have a perfectly suitable bottle here. We have this delicious champagne chocolate strawberry cocktail. If you like the show, please subscribe. And if you love the show, definitely subscribe. I'm on Patreon at patreon.com slash how to drink. I have a Twitter at how to drink. That's got a number in it, baby. I've got a Instagram at how to drink. And I want to leave you with this thought. If you are somewhere and you've got your lover, your lover friend with you, the fires are burning smoldering low. And there's heat in your eyes and a fire in your loins. I want you to lock eyes. I want you to lock eyes. I want you to put your hands gingerly, ever so gingerly, on your partner's hips. I want you to look beautifully, deeply into the pupils of their eyes, the windows of their soul. And I want you to say what comes to you. I want you to, what, to say what comes straight from the, from the bottom of your heart. I want you to look them deep in the eye and say, God damn it, I love you. I love you. And I love you forever from now until, until the stars fall from the sky and volcanoes rip the planet apart and the sun dies and we're all molten nothing in the furnace of a nuclear star co collapsing into a neutron, devouring the solar system. I will love you until the earth splits open and the oceans boil and 